Welcome to the Mesonet Weather Report. I'm Wes Lee. The rain last week, as of Wednesday, was pretty much a bust for all but the far southeastern counties. This five-day map shows Mount Hermon the only place receiving over an inch of rain. This continuing dry pattern for the west has soils in that region drying out quickly. This map of percent plant available water shows at four inches the western third of the counties need rain. Dark green near 100 percent levels are seen on most of the areas south of Interstate 44. At our deepest sensors in the soil, we see the areas of the state that are hit the hardest. The dark reds in the panhandle, far northwest and far southwest, show the extreme conditions there. Some of our driest areas are in Oklahoma's major wheat producing regions. With no rain, the soils are doing their best to keep the wheat crop alive. As temperatures warm and day length increases, so does the amount of water needed to maintain crop health. Evapotranspiration levels for healthy crops are now around 0.12 to 0.15 hundredths of an inch per day. Next week's rain forecast continues with the recent Interstate 44 phenomenon. There is, however, at least a chance of rain showing up for our dry northwest region as of midweek. Now here's Gary looking at the three-month rainfall conditions. Thanks, Wes, and good morning, everyone. Well, I really think I could just simply come in here and say the same thing every week, and so that's what I'm going to do. Once again, we have improvements across the southeastern part of the state and worsening drought across the northwestern part of the state. Let's get right to that new map. So here you can see, again, as I've said before, the I-44 is basically the dividing line between no drought and drastically bad drought. So uh, we did have that drought expand once again up into uh, the northwestern part of the state. We now have it dipping down into parts of northern Woodward County and more of Woods County. Uh, in northwest Oklahoma and even a little bit more in north central Oklahoma. So much of the northwestern half of the state covered in extreme to exceptional drought, the two worst drought monitor categories. March rainfall was disappointing across the northwestern half of the state to say the least. Uh, some areas had no rainfall at all. That's that white area up in Ellis County, uh, parts of western Woodward County and even southern Beaver County. Uh, but most of the, the regions across northwestern Oklahoma had less than a quarter inch of rainfall. At the most, we had about an inch in some places to the, uh, uh, to the northwest of that I-44 corridor. Now you look to the southeast of that I-44 corridor and you see most areas had five inches or more for the month of March, which is well above normal. Uh, even when we look down at Mount Hermon uh, in far southeast Oklahoma, they had 12.66 inches of rain for the month of March. So that is an incredible amount of rainfall uh, for the month of March for those folks. We do wish they could uh, spread some of that to the northwest, but unfortunately that's not the way Oklahoma weather works. The percent of normal rainfall map from the Mesonet for that same time frame shows it pretty clearly. Uh, very simply, northwestern Oklahoma went less than 25 percent of normal rainfall uh, for that entire period, whereas parts of the southeastern uh, Oklahoma, they went up to 200 uh, to even close to 300 percent of normal. So drastically different experiences between the two halves of the state. Now, as we look at the departure from normal for March, uh, once we start to get into the rainier parts of the year, these departures do start to grow. Uh, so about two inches below normal uh, for parts of northwestern, north central Oklahoma, down into central Oklahoma, but generally an inch uh, deficit or more. And then we had areas to the southeast of I-44, uh, one, two, three, four inches above normal, as much as eight inches above normal in far southeast Oklahoma. So the divide between the haves and have-nots continues to grow. Hopefully, uh, we will see a change in that very soon. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report. <music>